What is up TA users? Welcome to how to use the exclusion filters. It's gonna be a very quick video. Let's talk about how to get in there. First of all, you're gonna go over to your settings in this right hand menu and you're going to click settings. That is going to take you to the settings menu. Now, to get to the exclusions area, we need to click on this searching tab at the very top and then we need to click on search filters. Once we're in the search filters, we're going to scroll down to the exclusions section. And there are five different things that you can exclude here. The first is search categories. And if we click open this box here, we're going to see that we've got all of our marketplaces. Uh, the US is where we're gonna be looking at today. And if we click this drop down, we can then choose different categories that we want to exclude. For example, you'll see that I have Amazon Launchpad ticked. I can untick that if I want or leave it as it, as it is. Uh, I also have CDs and vinyl ticked on. I could tick on books or leave it off. Uh, and I can just choose any category that I want to be excluded from any of my searches. Now remember, this is a global uh, exclusion, so it will be for everything inside of Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, now, once you are done choosing the categories you want to exclude, make sure to hit that Save button. The next one is add a brand to exclude. We're gonna click the brand exclusion manager and here we can actually add brands that we don't want to see come up in our searches any longer. You'll see that I have Canon and OXO already included, uh, but maybe you don't want to be able to sell Nike. So you'll type the word Nike in here and you'll click on the green plus button and you'll see that it populates down here. Now you can also import brands uh, and you'll be able to download an example file and you need to fill it out with the source country so USA or Canada or wherever else you might be and then in column B you need to have the brand Lego, Amazon, uh, Nike, etc. and so on and then you can upload that file here. Very very simple to do. Now, let's say, for example, that you have a brand that you are ungated in. You'll want to make sure that you get it removed. So I'm able to sell Nike. I want to make sure that Nike is not included in there any longer. And then I click the Save button here. And it's going to exclude these brands for my future searches. You get a nice little nag screen to make sure that things are the way that you want them to be. Click on Proceed if you are happy with it. The next thing is add ASIN to exclude. Here we can actually get down much, much more granular and actually exclude at the ASIN level. Maybe you've had trouble with one. Maybe you're uh, gated on a particular ASIN. Uh, maybe you just don't like the way it looks and you don't want to see it anymore in your searches. So what we can do here is we can actually pop in an ASIN. And you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and copy one from down here. And I'll delete this. Uh, and then I can type in the ASIN in this box. I click the green plus button and now it's included here. If I want to get rid of any of these, I click on the red X and I'm good to go. Again, it's very important that you make sure to click the save button and it will save all of those ASINs to exclude from your searches. Next, we've got add keyword to exclude. Now, you wanna be careful here. You don't wanna to get too crazy with the keywords, but let's say, for example, that you don't want to see the, anything with the keyword perfume. You just don't wanna sell perfume. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Or maybe you wanna stay away from things that have the word pack in it, or maybe uh, packs like this. And you don't wanna see anything that just have those as a keyword. All right, so you'll make sure to type it in, hit the green plus button, and if you actually don't want those, then you click on the red X, and those are gone. I'm gonna leave the perfume, click save here, and then it will save those for me. And then finally in the exclusions is the reverse search domains. Now, these reverse search domains, we know that Tactical Arbitrage goes out and, and goes after hundreds of different sites uh, in a reverse search, when we upload ASINs. Now, there may be certain sites you don't want to search. So once you're in the domain exclusion manager for reverse search, you drop down this little arrow here, and then you can choose the sites that you don't want to see. For example, I have in here selected uh, eBay or bonanza.com. I don't want to purchase anything from Bonanza. It is a third party marketplace that is largely uh, unpoliced. So I don't wanna buy anything from Bonanza. 
and then we go down to eBay and you'll see that I have eBay excluded as well uh, just because it's also a third party party marketplace now there are some large sellers like Adidas like Best Buy out on eBay so it's not wholly a bad place I just don't want to deal with all the third party sellers that might be there uh, and maybe there are other sites that you just don't like the way they look uh, DSW I don't really source shoes so I'm gonna go ahead and remove DSW and once I have those selected I click on this save button and it will go ahead and save those reverse search domain exclusions so very simple you want to make sure that you're not being too um, wide with your exclusions just like you wouldn't want to over filter in a scan uh, but make sure that those are set up so that you don't see the items that you absolutely want to have excluded from any of your searches globally inside of tactical arbitrage make sure to keep watching we've got more videos coming to help you out with tactical arbitrage